Hello everyone, welcome back to Ida's Kitchen. Today is my third episode. Today I'm gonna make another Mediterranean dish. I'm gonna make sfiha. Sfiha is like meat pie. Now I'm gonna show you the ingredients. I have flour, I have active dry yeast, two baths, kosher salt, sugar, warm water, 2% milk, vegetable oil, and eggs. This is gonna be for the dough. Okay, now let's begin making the dough. I'm gonna, in an empty bowl, I'm gonna put two back of the dry active yeast, half a teaspoon of sugar, one cup of warm water. I'm gonna stir it a little bit and let it sit just for a few minutes until be ready to use. Okay. I'm gonna use five cups of flour to make the sweet. One, two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna add the yeast to my uh, dough and half a tablespoon of the kosher salt and the milk, one cup of milk, 2% milk and half a cup of oil, vegetable oil. And now I'm going to use two fresh eggs. I'm going to crack it like this. I'm going to add it to the dough. I'm gonna stop the machine to add a little bit of flour because it looks like it's a little bit soft. Just a little bit. Like a quarter of a cup. Now the dough is done. I'm gonna stop it. and take it out of the machine. But first I wanna put some uh, vegetable oil, just a little bit inside the bowl. And I'm gonna brush it like this. Now I'm gonna put the dough. Oh, very nice dough. Okay, at this time I'm done with my dough. I'm just gonna cover it in a clean kitchen towel and let it sit and rise for about an hour. The dough is now ready, okay? Look how beautiful. It's nice, good dough. I'm gonna dust a little bit of the flour, just a little bit. And I'm gonna start cutting as like a small ball, just a little small ball, tiny one, just like this. Then I'm gonna let it sit for another 15 minutes.
It's a small bowl, just a small bowl. Your dough should not like this, okay? I'm gonna uh, let, leave it for about another 15 minutes just to rise. I'm going to show you the ingredients for the spiha topping. I have the grass-fed Angus beef. It's one pound. I'm going to use two pound, two pound bag. You can use any ground beef, but I like to use this kind. I have two onions already peeled and clean. I have the slivered almonds. I'm going to use it for the topping. I have fresh uh, garlic, fresh tomato, one cup of the tahini sauce, half a cup of the lemon juice, I have also the vinegar, third cup of the vinegar, one tip, half a teaspoon of the cinnamon, and one te teaspoon of the um, old spice. I have a sea salt I'm gonna use, and I also have a fresh ground black pepper. Okay, now I'm gonna start grinding the onions. Two onions. And I'm gonna use like five to six garlic together. I'm gonna chop it together. Okay, now I'm gonna stop and add it to the meat. I'm gonna add it to the meat. This is the chopped onions and chopped garlic together. Now it's time to chop the tomato so I can add it to the meat. That's it, the tomato is done. I'm just going to add it to the meat and the onions. Onions and garlic. Okay, I'm gonna start adding the tahini sauce. One cup of the tahini sauce. Half a cup of the lemon juice. Third cup of the vinegar. Half a tablespoon of allspice. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon and the salt. I'm gonna just use sea salt today. I'm just gonna grind some sea salt. I like it a little bit salty. Same thing with the black pepper. I'm gonna use the fresh ground black pepper. And this is up to you, the salt and pepper. You can add as much as you want. Okay. Change my glove to be able to mix the meat with my hand. It's gonna look like this. It smells good. It smells delicious. Mmm. My uh, sfi has almost ready. I melted two sticks of butter and I'm gonna put it on the tray. I'm not gonna put the whole thing, I'm just gonna put a little bit and save the rest to the other tray, okay? Let's begin making the sfi, okay? You just do like this with your fist. Here's one. Two. Three. Okay, I'm gonna start adding the meat to the sfiha. I mean to the dough, not to the sfiha. Okay. One spoon at least, one tablespoon.
Now I'm gonna top my spiha with the slivered almond to give it a good look, okay? Now it has done, I already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to bake it for 25 to 30 minutes and I'm going to keep checking on it. I'm going to put it on the first rack of the oven. Then for another 5 minutes when it's ready, I'll just put it to, to broil the top. I'm going to use the first rack, then I'll use the top for broil. Now it's been cooking for 25 minutes. I'm gonna remove it from the first shelf, the oven, and I wanna put it to broil it. To get it I already have the oven on broil. And I'm gonna just keep watching it for three minutes, four minutes. When it's already broiled, I just take it out. Now my spi has done. Now my spear has done, I'm gonna take it out of the oven and let it cool down, then we'll eat it. Oh, looks delicious, smells delicious. Oh my God, I wish you can smell it. Wow. Ooh. Now the spear has done, look at this. Looks amazing, looks delicious, smells delicious. You can eat it with the plain yogurt, some vegetable with ranch dressing, broccoli, Hummus if you have, and any other, or salad, whatever. Who's gonna try the sfiha? Who's ready to try it? I will. All right, there you go, Jimmy. I hope you're gonna like it. Oh, wow. All right. Not only does it look delicious, it smells delicious. Here's a napkin for It you. tastes delicious. Really? Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Okay, thank you everybody for watching the show. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can learn and make it. If you make it, just send it to me on my email. Thanks, bye.